Filming on the movie starts on Monday, June 11th, I've been told. Ironically, that's the same day as the start of the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference, when Apple fans and developers gather in San Francisco to hear what the company has to say about new products and its software and whatever else it's working on. More than 5,000 people showed up last year. This year will be the first time that Steve Jobs co-founded Apple and then was fired and came back in 1997, won't be on hand to deliver the keynote. That honor will fall to Apple CEO Tim Cook. I imagine a lot of people are going to head down here next week to see what's going on. But for now, you can take a look at the house where Steve Jobs grew up in the street that he lived on in Los Altos. Los Altos is one of the small towns that make up California's Silicon Valley. It's about a 40-minute drive south of San Francisco, and it's sandwiched between Palo Alto to the north, which is home to Stanford University, and Cupertino and Sunnyvale to the south. It's known for a few things. Every spring, the residents close the downtown so they can march in the annual pet parade, along with their dogs, cats, goldfish, and whatever other animals they call family. On the Sunday after Thanksgiving, there's the electric light parade in the evening. Schools, merchants, and all sorts of other groups push or drive floats lit up with lights up and down the two main streets as the local high school marching bands play holiday music. The parade ends with Santa Claus driving his illuminated sleigh and spewing soap bubbles into the crowd. There's a lot of ranch houses here, and in the 50s and 60s, this was considered a very modest neighborhood in Silicon Valley, although that's changed as the tech boom has made housing here super expensive. Los Altos is also the town where Apple's Steve Jobs, who co-founded the company in 1976, grew up. And this is the street where he lived. So here's the house where Steve Jobs grew up. The film crew, I'm told, is working on setting it up and staging it so that it looks a lot like it did when Jobs and his family lived here in the 50s and 60s. There's no director on set today and no celebrities. That comes next week when they start the actual filming. Right now, it's all prep work, getting the Apple garage returned to the state that it looked in when Jobs and Wozniak worked on their early personal computers.